There it is, folks. What do you say we get this one taken care of? What's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media. Figured I'd stand for this one and not use StreamYard. We'll throw a score prediction up on the screen. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do a score prediction. We'll go with the video and see how it goes. 12 noon Eastern, 12 p.m., that's right, in Clemson, South Carolina this Saturday. What's the date? November 11th. Uh, go ahead and say Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for all those who serve this great country, those who have given their lives, their heart, their guts, and everything, man. They've given everything for us to have the freedoms that we have as Americans. Now, thank you for that. Let's get to the game. Georgia Tech comes in 5-4. and four. Clemson comes in 5-4. and four. The only difference is... Georgia Tech, 4-2 and two in conference play, and Clemson, a struggle bus, 2-4. and four. But coming off a great win at home against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, 31-23 after back-to-back -back losses with Miami and NC State. That's right, and one of those in double overtime against Miami on the road at Hard Rock Stadium. Georgia Tech, last five games, they're 3-2, and two with the losses coming on October 21st against the Boston College Eagles and then Bowling Green. Uh, I don't know why I laugh at that. Georgia Tech is, I mean, I guess if they lose those games, they lose those games. One thing I like about Georgia Tech is the fans, though. I love Sea Dog and Rec Talk. Love you guys. Shout out to you. I'm pulling for the Jackets in this game. I got Clemson fans in the family. Nothing but love and respect there, but... There's a part of me, like, you look at Georgia Tech, how is it getting any easier uh, throughout the schedule? you got to play Georgia at the end of the year. Who else do they have? I know Clemson's got South Carolina or whatever. So this is their schedule. At Clemson, home against Syracuse, both are going to be tough, and then home against Georgia. You're not winning against Georgia. You could probably pull an upset over Syracuse, and back to this game, can they upset on the road against Clemson? I don't know about a score for this one. It's kind of hard to figure out, but I'll say this. I am going to take Georgia Tech to win. The spread, looking at it, according to ESPN, is 14 and a half Clemson. I know Clemson's coming off that Notre Dame win. They're coming in hot. They're looking good at the right time. It's too late for a playoff run, but if they win this, they're bowl eligible. I don't know what to say. Surely this will be packed at Memorial Stadium in Death Valley. I don't... Here's the thing. I just have a gut feeling Georgia Tech is, is on a mission. And I think these back-to-back -back wins where they scored 40-plus points over North Carolina and Virginia, more so North Carolina, they took away the offense. For UNC at the end of the game. A little bit. I mean, it was high scoring. It was 46-42. But holy cow. Haynes King is it, it, just out of his mind right now with how he's playing. So I, I like Haynes King. I like the jackets in this one. And it's probably crazy to, to look at this game and pick Georgia Tech. But I think I'm going to do it. Uh, Haynes King, look at his stats here, 63 completion percentage, he has taken 8 sacks, 22 touchdowns and 10 picks, 63 completion percentage, I think I already mentioned that, 2,330 yards, holy cow, that's awesome, Jamal Haynes, uh, 664 yards on the ground, longest run of 67, 6 touchdowns, the thing about Haynes King, he has a long run of 71 yards, He's mobile. I like Clemson's defense. I think it's been a good defense this year at times. The question has been the offense. They just can't score enough. I don't see it. You know, I, I just don't. So, as we look at this game, I don't think Clemson's had a 40-point game outside of cupcake-type teams. They scored 31 on Syracuse, 17 on Wake, 20 on Miami, 17 on NC State, and yes, they won, but they scored 31 on Notre Dame, which is good. That's, that's good. Notre Dame's good defense all the way around. Give them credit. Not taking anything away from Marcus Freeman or anybody. 
Georgia Tech's going to come in with some firepower. I just have that gut feeling. I'm going to take Georgia Tech to win. 14 and a half. That's, that's a bit much, right? I mean, I, I could get 10. I could get 10 point spread. I don't buy 14 and a half over Georgia Tech. And to beat the spread, they'd have to score 15 plus, right? If Clemson were to win. Which could happen. I'm not ruling that out. But I have a gut feeling Georgia Tech could go in there. I think Clemson's going to be a little too hyped up after beating Notre Dame, which was at home. I think they get a little too excited, and they get a little bit back into what, what, what we've seen this year. And I think Clemson gets a little bit of their own medicine here. I'm going to take Georgia Tech to win. And that being said, Georgia Tech hasn't been that long, but it's, it's been a little while. Bowl eligible, six wins. I want to see it happen, and I think it can happen. I'm calling out Sea Dog and Rec Talk. What's your thoughts? If they've already posted a video, I haven't seen it, but I'll go look and watch it. Sea Dog and Rec Talk going to a bowl game. Man, I love y'all. Y'all are awesome, man. I'm pulling for Georgia Tech in this one, and I think they could do it. I really do. I think Clemson gets a little carried away in this game. I think that the way the offense is run, the kind of style that Georgia Tech runs on offense, I think it's just going to be hard for Clemson's defense to try to figure it out. Now, I don't want to put anybody down. They got a guy that I got to meet at a recruit ceremony. Uh, Peter Woods. I love watching Peter Woods. He's done great this year as a freshman. They're pretty good. Uh, they got some other guys, too, that have done really well. Yeah, they got Jeremiah Trotter, 65 tackles, leads the team. He leads in interceptions. It's almost a one-man show, though, in ways. I'm not saying that to be mean. They got Barrett Carter. They got, uh, who's this? R.J. Mickens, Tyler Davis. They got great talent. They got great recruits. Oh, but Clemson, man, they just, they're kicking themselves in the tail and they're shooting themselves in the foot. They just get so many mistakes offensively. Georgia Tech gets mistakes offensively too. But I, I just, it's an offensive world of college football that you just have to look at it from that point of view. I trust Georgia Tech and Haynes King more than Cade Klubnick and Clemson. Now, who's a better quarterback? Well, they were both five-star recruits, so, I mean, I don't uh, – we could debate that later on after we look at both of them, you know, careers as, as a whole, but I don't know. I think right now I, I just – I see there's a mission set for Georgia Tech, and they're one win away from it, making a bowl game. Talk about winning one later when you make one, but right now the goal is one more win. You're one more win from a bowl. And I think you could go on the road and pull it off. It's not a night game. Don't don't get don't get too nervous about the crowd now. It, it'll be good. It'll be tough. I'm not taking that away from the Tigers. But you could do it. I believe in Georgia Tech right here. This weekend, score prediction. It's kind of hard to give a score prediction. But I, I, I really think, you know, Clemson's a 14-point favorite. Uh, even if Clemson won the game, I don't think it's 14 points. I just don't. I think they could win by no more than 10 or 8 or something like that. And by the way, I, I am picking Georgia Tech, but I am not ruling out the possibility of Clemson winning. I mean, that'd be crazy to say. They're Clemson. They haven't fallen off completely. Just a bit of a rebuild, a bit of a down year. They're struggling a little bit, but they're getting back to it. Maybe they'll be back next year. We'll see. But give me Georgia Tech with an upset. Let me know what you guys think. Want to hear your score predictions in the comments. I love y'all. And to Sea Dog and Rec Talk and any other Georgia Tech fans I'm missing out there, go make a ball. <laughs> y'all be good. I love y'all.